Hey, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Byron Word. I want to welcome you to the Inspirational Vitamin for this Friday. Uh, it comes from 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 15. We're going to go from verse 56 through 58, uh, which says, The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. And I read that scripture, and it really encouraged my heart. Uh, first off, um, I know we've been cooped up for some months. <laughs> I didn't realize it before, but we've been cooped up for months. And chances are uh, you've sinned. I've sinned. And the deal is with sin, sin deflates you. Uh, it steals your conviction. It kills your passion. Um, it just destroys your life. And so, um, and it makes you, I don't know about you, but it makes me feel like a loser. It makes me feel like a loser. And what God says here is that we are actually winners. We are winners through Christ because Christ gives us the victory over this. And so this is the key though. James 5 says, uh, tells us to confess our sins to one another so that we can pray for each other so that we can be healed. And so COVID-19, uh, I didn't realize that it, it's been running rampant here for about two months. It's been over two months actually. Um, and my question for you is who have you spoken to about your life since we've been cooped up in the house? Who have you spoken to? Who have you prayed with during this time? Um, I want you to look at it as, you know, another, another failure or anything like that. But just remember that God wants us to have strong relationships uh, with other brothers and sisters and just reach out, reach out. Um, God wants us to stand firm and give ourselves fully to his work um, regardless of how, uh, how it may seem with your impossible prayers or with your career, with your finances or that relationships that makes you cringe, or even with your children, your labor is not in vain. Keep doing God's work and realize your labor is not in vain. And as you delight yourself in the Lord, he will give you the desires of your heart. So, uh, let's, let's not, uh, give way to sin or get caught up in that and leave it unconfessed. And let's uh, stand firm and let's realize our labor is not in vain. I love you all. Have a fantastic weekend.